You know, of all the quarterbacks we've had in here this year, if I counted your top five throws and put them on the top five plays of the week, it would be a big hit. Uh, the one thing that you can do as well as anybody in the country and anybody we've had in here is throw the ball. Can you talk about Mike Glennon, the drop back passer, and some of these throws that you made? And yeah, that's why you play the position and throw the ball, get the ball in the playmaker's hand. And um, that's what I've worked for my whole life is to work on my throwing motion and work on throwing the ball and made a few along the way. I mean, these throws that you're making, there are not many guys on the planet that can flick the ball 28 yards on a dime like that. There's a lot of confidence in this trigger, isn't there? Yeah. I feel like I can put it put it just about anywhere and throw a guy open. And we always talk about if the defender's back is to us, that he's not even there. So there's a lot of times where I'm just treated like the defender's not even there and stick it in. What am I showing you that I like more than anything? Forget about the greatness of the throw. What do I like that you're doing on these throws? Standing there, taking you're a hit. You're standing in there. I mean, your right tackle is on the ground. A defensive tackle is beating down on you, and you stand in the face of the rush and make a great throw. So when you come out of NC State, when you come out of that tunnel, I know you don't always carry flowers to the game, do you? Not every time. Huh? So when you come out of the uh, as a starting quarterback in the National Football League, what, what am I getting in Glennon? I mean, what am I getting, not just a power pitcher, a great passer, what, what am I getting? Why Glennon? Extremely motivated, like I said, driven to be successful, a self-starter. I'm going to come in every day and be consistent with who I am and, and work hard. Uh, great teammate. Love to develop uh, relationships with my teammates and, and get mm -hmm. to know them. You know this play right here, this read option? Yeah. I've been studying you a long time. Your body of work's impressive, but I, I really don't think that you're going to do the kind of things that this quarterback's doing on these read options, do you? No, that's not my game. I'd rather just sit back and throw the ball. Are you a little sensitive to all these read option guys, Kaepernick and Russell Wilson and Slam Newton and RG3? They're, they're kind of replacing. Remember caddies in golf? They yeah. got replaced by golf carts. Now it seems like these read option quarterbacks are coming into the league and they're taking all the snaps away from us drop back guys. Yeah, I are think you sensitive about that? Right now that's something that's going on, but I think there'll always be a place for drop back quarterbacks in the NFL. I'm watching this Glennon tape and I see Mike Glennon against North Carolina running a read option. I don't think this is your cup of tea, brother. No, it's not. So we call this a lot. And this was literally the only time in my entire career where I kept the ball. I was watching this game. Roy Williams, a basketball coach in North Carolina, he turned around and says, that ain't no Cam Newton, is it? <laughs> Look at him. He can't even believe that you guys ran that play. He's, he's confused. <laughs>